Hello everyone, Isaac Segunro here, back with another video. This video is going to be a continuation of our last video. In our last video, we talked about what components are and the importance of them and how to use them in our application. So in this video, we're going to be talking about parameters. How do we pass values into our components? So let's get started. Now, if you remember last week, or in our last video, I had created this. This here is a component. So because it's a component, we can reuse this component wherever we need that functionality for a delete. So um, let's, let's go back. Now, what I'm going to show you all today is how do we, I have, let me start from the beginning. I have in the on start of our app, I have this collection and when I delete an item from my SharePoint list, that's what this does. I also want to delete it from the collection. And in order to delete it from the collection, I need to provide the ID of that particular item. So I would need to pass in ID 17 or 23. This is the ID. I, need to, I would need to pass in these values so I can know which item in my collection to delete. So what I'm going to show you is how do we pass the ID as a parameter into our um, component. So let's go to our component and let's begin. So here's our component from last week. We have these three properties, delete message, on call, on select yes. For our on select yes, if you remember, we added this function to our on select. And I could have given it any name that I, you can give it any name that you want. So now I want to be able to pass in the parameter. So the way we do that is let's select our dialog box and let's click here to open it up and let's click on new parameter. Let's give our parameter a name. I'm just going to say, Let's call it delete parameter ID. And it's going to be a number. Now here's the mistake a lot of people make, especially beginners. I was a beginner once, so I made this mistake as well. Once you have created your parameter, it doesn't stop there. You have to now create a property for this parameter. You know, that sounds strange. You have to tell it exactly what kind of parameter is this. So let's go and define that and I'll explain as I create. So we got to come over here and create a, pro a, a property. And this is for every parameter that you create. So we're going to call this, I'm going to call this just um, item underscore ID. It's a data input that's what we're passing in to this component. And it's not going to be a text. It's going to be a number. And then let's click create. All right. Now, as you can see, this here has an error. So let's come here. And it's because now that we've added, uh, added a parameter to our on select, yes, it's expecting a parameter. So we come in here, dialog dot. And then we look for our item ID. All right. So that's step one. That part is done. So now let's go to our screen. Let's go to our main app. And let's bring up the dialog box. Here's our dialog box. And let's click on a dialog box. And let's go to the properties of this dialog box. And as you can see, we have this on select yes, and we have this item ID. So now what we have to do is provide it the item, the ID of the item we're clicking. So it's going to be this gallery here, which is gallery three. And we're going to say gallery three dot selected 
dot id so this will pass in the id and as you can see you know 17 is basically that first one okay so we've gotten that straight so that's one part of the piece that we have to do so now the second part is now we have to go in to the on select oh not on select let's let me select that again on select yes and now we have to remove from the collection so let's come here remove and the name of our collection is collection we have to look up so look up in the collection where the collection so look up in the collection where the id in that collection is equal to a para oh that's what i call it delete parameter id if you remember that's what i called it and then let's close it all right so that's it now if you're wondering where we get this collection from it's here so if we go to my on start i had in the on start it just grabs all the data from the um, customer's orders and dumps it into this collection customer's orders so this is our collection now um, so that's where that's coming from all right now let's go test it out so what I'm gonna do so that you can see it being deleted, let's actually go and add a, uh, let's see, let's add a table. So just come here, just gonna type in table. I have a preview data table, okay, good. Oops, 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 oops. So let me bring that over here. And let's say it is our collection. That'll be the data source. And let's add some fields. So let's do ID, quantity, and product. Why not? So let's come in here. Let's say ID, product, name. And let's do quantity. All right. Quantity, add. Okay, so as you can see, this matches the data that's in our gallery. And don't get the two confused. This is the data table. And this is, this is a gallery. So as you can see, these IDs, product name and quantity, they match up with this here. So now when we delete from our SharePoint list, you know, this gallery, its data source is a SharePoint list, and this this data source is a um, collection. Now, the reason I, I need I need to delete from the collection is because when I delete from here, without what I just did, it wouldn't delete from the collection. So we want to make sure it updates the collection as well. So let's go ahead and try our new what we just did. All right. So let me minimize this some more. Let me bring this up a little bit. Okay. Bring this down some. All right. So now watch what happens when I delete 17. This ID 17. Delete. Yes. All right. You see, it's gone. So not only did it delete from the our SharePoint list, our backend, our data source, but it also deleted from our collection which is kept within the app you know um so let's go delete 22 22 make sure let's make sure no still works no good it still works delete yes so that's how that works now let's do a quick wrap up let's go to our components and our components allow us to create this, create a component once and use it several times. 
And for this different, for this component, we created a dialog and it has these parameters. And today what we did was we add, I'm sorry, it has these properties. And today what we did was we added a parameter to our on select. Yes. And here's our parameter. And then for the parameter, we have to make sure that we create a property for it that matches it, that is associated with it. So that way we can define what it is, which is input, meaning it's data coming in from our main app into this component. So you can do this thing and it's, it's a number. So these will become properties of this dialog box in the main app. And then we can just provided our values and here in the on select, it calls the on select. Yes. And then within it, we have to put in the dial, the, um, parameter that we defined. Um, yeah. So anyway, I hope that made sense. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave your comments and please don't forget to like the video and share the video. If there is any feedback you'd like to give me, please do so in the comments. Um, I will also provide somewhere up here or here or probably in the de descriptions, the link to the previous video, if you haven't seen it yet, um, the part one of this video. So anyway, again, thanks for watching, watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye.